You may be watching this video because you have been told to stay home from work or from school or public because uh, the world is canceled. But guess what? YouTube's not canceled. Stick around and we'll plan the week. Hi friends, thanks for stopping by. All right, as we discussed, everything in the world is canceled right now. Um, I don't wanna get into it, it's just a big mess. Everything's a mess right now. Anywho, we are going to do some planning today. And if you've watched my last couple of videos, uh, you will have seen that I am in a Hobonichi now. And uh, this was the first week that we did the plan with me. And I filled it out, everything is completely filled out for this week. Sorry, last week. And now this week, this is where we are at. Um, habit trackers, not doing so great. Uh, I don't know, it's just been kind of a weird week. I've been a little derailed and not very focused, but uh, that's okay, we're just gonna roll with it. Um, I have decided trying to set a bedtime and a wake up time is just not working for me. So um, we'll see if that makes it into next week's planning. But other than that, I did manage to get quite a few things done. Um, I had an Everclear concert to go to tomorrow night, but guess what? Canceled. <laughs> Actually, take that back. It's been rescheduled for September, so six months from now. So I'm really sad, but um, we'll just see if I can hold on to those tickets. So we are going to be planning the week of March 16th through the 22nd. And uh, just wanted to give you a flip through of the week. Let me go ahead and get there. The previous week was the 9th. And I think the last that you saw was the 4th and 5th. So we'll just go ahead and flip through. And I'm going to zoom it in just a little bit here. Anyone else totally derailed by the time change going forward? I feel like every year it's just like this massive thing and it throws off my sleep. And uh, it was a week with the full moon and I don't know, it just, it was a rough week for sleep. So I'll just keep going on here. So we had Women's Day, Barbie Day. Spent a lot of time with my neighbor this week. Um, I helped her build a couple things for her kids' room. And then we have, this is our second month in a row where we just have a girls' night where she and I will go to dinner, we'll go shopping. So we had that on Wednesday. And then uh, Thursday was kind of a slow day. Nothing really happened because I was incredibly tired. And uh, here we are on Friday. So I did make up for some lost time, got some chores done, and uh, that's where we're at. So we'll go ahead and get going and start planning the week. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with this washi tape from Simply Gilded. And this is from the sub box from last year. So it has a St. Patrick's Day vibe to it. Next, I'm going to go ahead and use these stickers from the Reset Curl, and this is from the Thankfully Yours collection, and we're going to go ahead and cover the date dots. Now, the date dots are a little bit smaller than the dates are, but that's okay. We're going to go ahead and roll with it. I'm going to work on the sidebar next and I'm going to take an old Glam March sticker. I want to say maybe this was from 
18. I don't know. Maybe it was last year. It's hard to keep track of all the different stickers that I have. So I'm just going through them to make sure that's the one I want. Since it's St. Patrick's Day this week, I thought this sticker was perfect. Now your Erin Condren size stickers will fit on the sidebar, no problem. So I didn't have to trim that one up. Now I'm going to take some pattern headers and put one on the top and bottom of that sticker. And you guessed it, I am taking a Reset Girl Honey. Also, this other little um, washi sticker, I think it's from a Walmart sticker book. And I'm going to put that on top of her. And then I have a sticker from a Carpe Diem book. Um, it's the Seasons sticker book. And I'm going to take one that says, You're so lucky. Oh, lucky to be me. So go ahead and put that on. A honey always makes its way into my spread. I can't help myself. After that, I am just going to take a couple hearts and fill up that little space there between her and that other header. The paper and glam kits always come with so many stickers, so I'm trying to make an effort to use them instead of hoarding them like I always do. So the top part of my spread, I like to put in any timed things that are going to happen. So we have St. Patrick's Day, of course, on the 17th. And then we will have a book club prep on Wednesday. Um, sometimes we meet like in a live with each other or we'll just do it by email. So we'll see how it works this month. But I just want to remind myself to get the book read by that time. The first day of spring is on Thursday, the 19th. Have I mentioned that spring is my favorite season? Because it totally is. And then payday is on Friday the 20th. That in itself is like a holiday every month, right? I'll put down a sticker for church on Sunday. And following that, I will be putting in my habit trackers. I did remove the wake up and go to bed times because those weren't really working for me. So I will be doing to see if I get eight hours of sleep and also adding in that I want to allow myself some God time as I'd like to call it. I am looking for another study to go along with the God and Glam Bible study. And I would like to dedicate time every day to doing that. Now I'm putting in dinners for the week, followed by a sticker for YouTube so I can plan out my video for next week, as well as a sticker for Instagram um, for a post that I'll be doing next week. Now, don't ask why I have April headers. I have no clue. I thought maybe I didn't have my March ones in my binder when I looked, but they were there. So I am taking one of these long, I don't know what you'd want to call them, like the banners that you would use for a checklist. I am layering that with the this week banner and topping that with a coffee cup. I'm going to take a couple boxes from Glam Basics to put on the right hand side and I like to track pages read for the week as well as calories burned during workouts. And I also like to layer those boxes with a couple of stickers that correspond. So I'll be pulling one from Gym Glam as well as Glam Reads. I initially was just going to put these down, but I wanted to fill up part of that page a little bit more. So I'm going to pull another one of those check banners and put it behind the two boxes.
on the bottom part of the page, I want to put a little section there just in case anything comes up for the following week. I have a section to put it in. So I'm taking a quarter box and a half box from Glam Basics as well as just a decorative sticker. Again, we get so many stickers, so please use them and do not hoard them. So I'm putting these stickers down and just layering them a little bit. Under this week, I'll just write down everything that I need to get done during the week. For next week, I know that we're going to be recording Book Club on Wednesday, followed by the live chat premiering on Thursday. Now, after missing the recording session in December, I am completely paranoid that I'm going to forget it. So I always make sure to write it down like in 17 different places so I don't forget it. Now again, I'm going in with extra decorative stickers so I can start using them up. So this is one of my favorite stickers of like life. I try and put it everywhere. I put a little banner here for the weekend. And then I took a couple of the shamrocks and I'm just going to sprinkle those throughout as well as this little PNG wreath up there in the corner. I felt like my quarter boxes were a little plain, so I took a patterned header, cut it in half, and layered that in the blank spot. And that'll complete my planning this week. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up on the way out. Go check out Lisa Marie stickers over at Paper and Glam. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next week for a new video. Thanks for watching.